Hey survivors! In this video I am going to be talking about the narcissistic pervert. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can email me at narcsforthecoaching at gmail.com. Check out the new merchandise in the Narcsforthe store. We have new designs on our t-shirts, tank tops and mugs. The link to the Narcsforthe store is in the video description. The Narcissistic Pervert The Narcissistic Pervert engages in sexual behaviour that is considered to be abnormal and unacceptable. Their sexual behaviour deviates from what is normal or usual, typically in a way that is undesirable or worrying for their victims. It is undesirable or worrying for their victims because it is not wanted due to the unpleasant or harmful effects. It may cause an unpleasant feeling of fear or unease. The narcissistic pervert will often engage in sexual acts in front of their victims or stalking and watching their victims. They find gratification in sexual behaviour which may be considered to be sexually offensive to their vic victims. The narcissistic pervert is in denial. They are unable to realise how unpleasant or harmful their behaviour is as that would contradict their high opinions of themselves. It would be almost impossible to convince the narcissistic pervert that they have an issue. This is something they never reflect on. Instead, they will find faults with the person they are perversing with. The narcissistic pervert has developed a defence mechanism or technique to avoid any internal conflicts regarding their inappropriate sexual behaviour. Their defence is to externalise conflicts and put the responsibility on other people. The narcissistic pervert lives for short-term desires and gratification. They consider people as pawns in their game that they can move around according to their desires. If a person is useful to them, they will attend to them and be friendly during that time to fulfill their needs. Once they no longer have a use for them, they will forget that they even existed. They have no empathy for their victims, but they do recognise how their inappropriate sexual behaviour makes their victim feel. They recognise that their victim may experience fear anxiety, sadness or anger. This can often be a part of what gratifies the narcissistic pervert. They enjoy dominating and controlling their victims, exploiting their emotional states and humiliating them. The narcissistic pervert is not interested in love or attachment. 
they are only interested in objectifying their victims and using them as a source of sexual gratification. The narcissistic pervert enjoys manipulating and confusing their victims. They don't self-reflect or consider that their sexual behavior may be unwanted or inappropriate. In their minds, it is the victim's fault for not realizing what they are doing. And since they cannot figure it out, they deserve it. That's how the narcissistic pervert thinks when they are engaged in their inappropriate sexual behavior. The narcissistic pervert has a feeling of emptiness inside. Although this is not something they will ever admit to themselves. They try to manage this feeling of emptiness through using other people. Because of this, the narcissistic pervert often ends up hating or being envious of, of people who know how to live and enjoy in the present moment. People who are ungrudging and able to give love. The narcissistic pervert will often attempt to obtain these qualities from their victims, who will then lose these qualities in the process. The narcissistic pervert will even exchange roles with their victims and then convince them that they are responsible for all of the failures. The unwanted sexual behavior of the narcissistic pervert is inappropriate and immoral. It is unpleasant or harmful for the other person. The narcissistic pervert continues to engage in this behavior because they are self-absorbed and lack empathy. Due to their sexual repression, they become hypersexual and only consider their own sexual desires or needs, often at the expense of the other person. They do not understand how the other person feels, but they do recognize these emotions. They recognize that their victim feels fear, anxiety, sadness or anger and this is something that, that they will often exploit. This is something that may even gratify the narcissist even further. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications of my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsfabricoaching at gmail.com. Check out the, the new merchandise in the Narcsfabric store where you can purchase your own Narcs of a t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.